Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Holland. I'm a pre-nursing student. I start nursing school in a couple of months and I wanted to make this video to show you how I got and how you guys can also get a 90 or above on the science portion of the T's exam. Little disclaimer, this is what worked for me. It may not work for you, but I'm hoping that it can help a few of you guys out. I know I was looking on YouTube forever trying to find videos that would show me what I could do and the resources I could use. So I'm just gonna show you what I did. So just a couple of general tips. I would say, see how many times your school allows you to take the TEAS exam. I know for me, they took your first score within a 12 month period. And secondly, take your prerequisite courses. I know for me, I took anatomy, physiology, chemistry, I took everything I needed to, obviously to apply to my program. And they helped so much when I was studying again for the TEAS exam, because then it's just review. If you've never taken these courses, you're basically learning all this new material and learning it on your own, which is a lot harder in my opinion. Another tip would be give yourself enough time to study. I know I took about a month and a half to study. I studied five days a week just because I could. It was quarantine. I wasn't working. I don't have kids. So if you are working, you know, you do have kids, give yourself a few months because obviously you can't take every single day to be studying for hours. So give yourself enough time so you're not stressed out. So moving on to the resources that I used, I'm sure if you've watched any other videos on YouTube, I'm sure you've seen this book, The ATIT's Six Secrets. Um, this is a really good study guide. I really recommend this. Um, it, it goes into detail, but I would say don't just use this. Uh, use other resources that I'll tell you about, but there's a few practice exams in the back of the book, which are super helpful. And um, I just went through and highlighted a bunch of stuff and I really recommend this. Okay, and then this is a book that I actually got um, when I was taking anatomy. So this is pretty old, but I'll show you. It's called A Visual Analogy Guide to Human Anatomy. So this is what it looks like. So here's the anatomy book. Uh, this one was super nice, very visual, gave you um, analogies, a description. This also explained a lot, which I included into my study guide. So I really would recommend this book. It has a lot of information, especially if you're even needing to take your anatomy class still. This is an amazing book. Help me get an A in that class. So another resource that I really recommend that was super, super helpful was a Facebook group. It was called um, ATIT6, and that's all it is. It's a private group where people can just go and post their study guides. You can obviously post in the group and ask questions and people post questions, like questions of the day. And it was just like a super positive little community. I was studying by myself, so I was like going on there and people would say, oh, you know, I got accepted into nursing school and you know, whatever the case. And it was just nice to know other people were doing the same thing as me. So that's where I got some of my study guides that I will show you, but for example, I just printed a, a bunch of them out because there's so many. There's like 46,000 members in that group. So you're gonna find a lot of study guides. So the last resource that I used was YouTube. Um, Susanna Hines was amazing. She does like all of the 11 organ systems, which helped me so much. And then another one was um, Mandy Parker. She teaches anatomy physiology and she goes through everything. So really recommend those two. So I'm gonna show you kind of how I use these resources and put them all together and what I did. So what I did was I took um, a study guide or a few from the Facebook group. I, you can just print them out. You can just download the PDF, print it out. So I did that. I took information from the ATIT's uh, six book and then that anatomy book that I showed you, the YouTube videos, every single resource, and I just all combined that information and I put it into a binder. And then I'll show you right now how I kind of did that. Okay, so this is what I did. Um, I started off with direction terms and I did my, uh, another page for mitosis, meiosis, 
the cell, plant cell, and then I did all 11 uh, organ systems. But I'm gonna show you, let's go. So integumentary system, for example. So I combined all those resources that I had mentioned prior and I made my own notes, what, which made sense to me. And then what I did was I printed out one of those study guides from the Facebook group. And then I did this for every single one. So if we go to skeletal system, same thing. I just combined, made my notes, and then I printed out one. And the, these were super helpful because of the pictures and any extra notes that they had or little tips. Um, but same thing, nervous system, and then the printed out one. So for the biology and chemistry, I basically just printed a bunch of study guides from the Facebook group that I was telling you about. And I just highlighted, studied this way because writing everything down was just taking too long for me. <laughs> but um, know your states of matter, solid, liquid, gas, you know. Um, make sure you know DNA and RNA and transcription, translation, make sure you know those differences. Make sure you know um, atoms in the periodic table protons, neutrons, electrons, um, how to calculate atomic mass. That was on the exam. Make sure you know how to balance an equation. For me, I feel like it was pretty simple, but you know, do a couple practice uh, questions on that. So lastly, I would recommend going on the ATIT's website and purchase one of the um, practice uh, packages. It can be a little expensive. I think mine was, the one I got was like $80, but you get um, practice test A, a practice test B, and also an anatomy and physiology test. And I think you could take them all three times if I'm not mistaken. Um, the A and B is a practice test of the whole entire exam. So it's timed the same, it looks identical. So that's just how it's gonna be on the exam, same amount of time. And then the anatomy and physiology one is just that. And if you're struggling in that area, it's nice to have that one. That's what I wanted. Um, but I really recommend that because the questions that they ask are very similar. And I think this this really helped me the most. I What I did <clears throat> was I took the full exam before I started studying. And I was like, okay, where am I at? What do I need to study? You know, what areas? am I doing better in? What area, areas am I not? And then, so I took an assessment and then I was like, okay, I need to study this. And then I took one about midway studying and then I took one at the end, which I did a lot better. So I felt, I felt pretty ready for the exam. And then the anatomy and physiology one, same thing. But those ones, I highly recommend it. Okay, and lastly, I just wanna say, believe in yourself. If I can do it, you can definitely do it. I was super nervous before I was taking my exam. But honestly, if you just dedicate the time to study, you will pass, I promise. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that these tips will help you on your exam. Uh, if I left anything out or if you have any questions for me, just go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. Um, let me know how you guys do on your exam. If you used anything here to help you out, I would love to know. Um, I plan on making some more nursing related videos. I have some ideas. So um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.